the Noyina, it is the world's most advanced polar research vessel and probably one of the largest as well. It carries over 100 passengers, 30 something crew, so about 140 personnel all up. She's 160 metres long, weighs in at about 25,000 tonnes displacement when fully loaded and a full propulsion system of about 20,000 kilowatts. So it's quite a substantial vessel. The engine room on the RSV Noyina is split, so there's two complete separate engine rooms and two completely separate propulsion rooms. Each main engine room consists of a main engine and two generators, and the propulsion room has the advanced electric drives. It's hybrid in as much as we can run the ship on diesel generator engines that power electric motors that drive the propellers. So it's essentially what's known as a diesel electric propulsion system. So it's a V16, so there's eight cylinders on, on this side of the engine, eight located on the other. The bore of the engine is about 320 mil, very similar to a, an engine you'd find in a large truck, except just bigger, a lot bigger. The main engines here weigh 87 tonnes, so it's a large mass. For an efficient cruising speed, so far we've found 12 knots to be probably the most economical speed. We've been able to use the diesel electric component of the ship to um, propel her up to 14 knots. Beyond that, we have to use the larger engines. They're capable of breaking ice and they're quite powerful, but the ship's designed to cruise at a maximum speed of 16 knots. Uh, the delivery voyage has been invaluable to basically complete a set of proving trials on the machinery and finalise where it's all at. When we get down to the ice, we may need propulsion diesel engines for more speed or more power. Then the ship can be changed over into ice breaking mode. In ice breaking mode, what, what happens is off the main reduction gearbox there's an ice flywheel which is engaged. That's a seven ton mass, which is added to the 8.7 tons of crankshaft weight for the engine to give it some more momentum. Okay, we're going to initiate uh, heavy ice breaking mode. So going full ahead. Going full ahead. That was our first experience at manoeuvring the ship in that mode. Yeah, it was pretty impressive. Not only were we are we able to deliver a lot of thrust forward to, uh, to push the ship, we just imagined that we were accelerating into some ice. Another important feature is to be able to reverse back quickly as well. So the turning circle, we measured at around about 380 metres the other day. We did a few new trials at sea in proper seagoing conditions. But yes, 380 metres is pretty good. That's just a little bit more than twice the length of the ship. This is the uh, steering room on the RSV Noyina. Here's the main rudder stock. So that goes down and it's attached to the rudder of the ship. So during our um, manoeuvring test the other day, the um, tiller was swinging the whole way across from zero to 34.9 degrees and then back to port to 35 degrees, 34.9. So DP is the ship being controlled by a fairly sophisticated computer model where the computer takes control of the thrusters, the engines and the rudders to help the ship or sometimes control the ship to maintain a set position. Everything went fine. It'll be interesting to see how it performs down in Antarctica and in the ice. That's what we're all looking forward to. We've done our proving trials now and we'll see how it performs in real life.
we often talk about the ship being three types of vessels in one, the cargo ship, the ice breaking ship, and the science research vessel. And uh, particularly, it's a polar research vessel. That's the element of the ship that really, I guess, floats my boat the most. The ship's contribution to science and the knowledge of the Southern Ocean and the Antarctic, uh, in particular sea ice, is what really, really in interests me.